Hello and welcome back to the Cozy Club, my friends. My name is Cozy Gamer and it is a beautiful day for some DSA. I am glad to be back from vacation and we've got ourselves a fun video today as well as taking a look at the brand new update that is going to be launching this week within Disney Sorcerer's Arena. To start off, if you guys are looking for some in-depth strategy content, we've got a lot coming at you soon. I've got an updated Tower 3, 4, and 5 guide coming to you probably this week and some next week. We also have a placement guide talking about adjacent attacks and flaking attacks. That is in production as well. I'm excited to get more and more content out to you guys. And I thought we would do a video that not only talked about the patch notes, because it can be a little boring at times, but also we are going to take a look at the top 15 characters we deserve to have in Disney Sorcerer's Arena. We've got some great characters from some awesome franchises on this list and I'm excited to show you what we've got. Before we start this video, I just wanna thank you guys for being a part of the best community within DSA. We've got an awesome group together on the Discord. We're getting close to a thousand members on there. Our Twitch is just growing more and more Cozy Club and we're having ourselves a great time. If you haven't already, come check us out. Tuesday, we do some great team synergy, some strategy. Thursdays, we're gonna be doing trivia and some other fun stuff. Friday is the party stream and Sunday is strategic Sunday guys. I'm excited to welcome you and last channel update here. We finally got the cozy merch coming in guys. This is one of the sweaters from it. If you want to take a look, man, it's comfy. And most importantly, it's cozy <laughs> guys. If you want to go ahead and buy the merch, you can check that out in the description below. Excited to keep on growing this community. All right, let's go ahead and get started with the patch notes, and then we'll move on to the top 15 characters that we want to see in DSA. So y'all, we usually do strategy guides and in-depth guides here at the Cozy Club, but let me know if you'd like for me to cover DSA news. So this will be a little bit separate from the fast pass. This is going to be me more talking about the patch notes and things to come, and overall, just some DSA news. Again, if you want to see that, comment below, put a like on this video. I'd be happy to get more and more content out there to you guys. And it doesn't require as much editing and work behind it to get it out to you. All right, Cozy Club. So as of this video, the 12.0 update is now live. And guys, there's a lot that actually came with it outside of what was just on the patch notes. First of all, Cozy Club, the game runs way way faster guys everything's gonna be a lot smoother when you transition to the different stores when you transition to a battle there's a lot of things that are going to be just a lot quicker and in my opinion the game is going like five times at least faster when going around the menus which is a nice change and something i didn't really notice was taking too long before but it is a nice change and i'm glad they fixed it so a nice little change they did too is when you're going into a battle or you're on the character select screen your characters are going to do the intro that they do when you previously go to your collection and you click on the characters individually they're going to all do them together it's a nice touch and it's a good way to go into battle getting ready and watching your characters do a nice little intro so again glue nice touch on that also probably the biggest thing in this update is going to be the challenge your friends or clubmate mode guys you're going to be able to challenge your friends and clubmates sorcerers tournaments defense now i'm excited for this because i can test out different team comps against certain defenses and have those selected now of course the downside is it is going to be ai right it's not going to be controlled like live pvp however i do think this is the right step forward and i know for sure on my twitch channel we're going to have a good time i'm going to be going against the viewers defense and we're going to have fun overall with this so Overall, this is a step in the right direction. Next up is you're going to be able to change your payout two times per year. So if you have a lot of people paying out in Sorcerer Tournament all at the same time, or if you just are having an awful payout time, like you created your account in an area that maybe wasn't the time zone that you're currently in, this is a great way that you can change that. So you're not, you know, finishing up your tournament at 5 a.m. rather than it being something like 9 p.m. like myself. You'll notice there's going to be some nice UI kind of quality of life changes with this update as well. In the bottom, they kind of organized a bit more on what you should focus on or they what they recommend focusing on, whether it's leveling up a character or that you completed a certain task for the day. I know that that's down there now and you can complete that as well. And we go to the events tab and what do we see? Cozy Club Zerg is coming 
coming back. We guessed this by seeing that downtown villains are the login reward, guys. So if you happen to have gone for the Toy Story downtown villains, you can use them in this new event. And guys, Zerg really boosts your team up. So if you do have them and you invested in that team, make sure you grab Zerg and do what you can to unlock him. So again, as of now, it looks like Robin Hood is going to be the character that they have in the live PvP shop, but this might change. So go ahead, keep on hope and hopefully Glue hears us and we get a new character in the live PvP rewards. Our first event characters are going to be Farmable Cozy Club, and I am excited to see this. This is some big news, guys. We have Ian and Barley coming to farmable locations, and I'm going to go ahead and say right now, outside of Chunk and whatever else you're working on, if you haven't seen my farming guide, that's a good step on what you should be farming. But start farming Ian and Barley. They are a great duo that's going to lift your team up, and in fact, they are very, very solid against the frozen teams all right and for the last bit of the news and this is probably the biggest part that is going to be event towers are coming now we don't have a lot of knowledge on what this is going to be it's going to be kind of a mini new game mode nothing huge to take away from the notes here but it, they're probably going to be mixing up something different with how event characters are rolled out and i'm excited that it's not going to be the mundane same events that we see it looks like they're trying to make it a little bit more fun to get characters that we don't have stay tuned and hit that subscribe button because you know here on the channel we will cover everything there is to do with whatever event towers is and i'm excited to get that content out to you guys all right so that's going to be all the patch changes and everything coming into this game let's go ahead and move on to the top 15 characters we want to see in dsa so this list is in no particular order we're going to go ahead and go through all of them one by one now i think that some of these characters i pick would just have an easier time having a nice kit into this game of course i would like to see a disney character like finding nemo i don't have him on this list because i'm not sure quite how they would work his kit into the game these characters i'm about to mention i think they could find a way to get nice kits out there that are going to be both functional and easy to put into the game this list is going to involve all the characters that aren't teased that aren't even mentioned in the game like maleficent stitch and maui are already shown in the game we don't know when they're coming but these are characters that are not hinted at at all that we would like to see in dsa starting with number 15 it is going to be the llama the emperor Cusco! <laughs> Cozy Club, I think that Cusco would be a very nice addition to this game and into the Kingdom teams. They could buff up the other Emperor New Groove characters along. It'd be nice to see him have a couple of forms, maybe a human form and then maybe a llama attack. Or if he could switch off in between and drop like a Cusco Topia on top of the enemy or something like that. Cusco is bound to come to DSA and I would love to see him sooner rather than later. Number 14, Edna Mode. Now, I would have loved to see her come back with the Incredibles when the event came back around. And I think Edna Mode would be a great all support character. We haven't seen something like that in this game yet. I know other games like Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes has characters like Hermit Yoda that doesn't attack. He just simply supports the team. And I think that would be a fun way to put her into the Incredibles. Edna can kind of be there on the sidelines, maybe stealth or whatever, and help out the Incredibles get a little bit of extra juice out of their kits. That way you don't have to rework them as an entire faction. But Edna is going to be the key to make them work better in the meta. Number 13 is Corella DeVille. And guys, I wanted to get more villains on this list. We are lacking villains in DSA and Corella DeVille would be such a fun way to incorporate more villains in DSA. Whether it's using the Dalmatians against the enemy or just doing something fun with her kit in general, I think it would be great if Corella has synergy with other villain characters, kind of like Jafar has with his passive. Whenever other villains attack, he assists. It'd be cool to see all the villains kind of assist or help each other. And you have this like infamous villains team that we could make one day. Number 12 is going to be Winnie the Pooh. Now listen, we need him. We need him in this game and let me tell you why. First, he's iconic. Second, we already have his honey spell that is going to be available at some point or maybe we at least see it in the game files. But y'all, Winnie the Pooh is a great infamous character and a great addition they could put into DSA. Whether he's just very good at eating honey or he slows down the enemy, I think he'd be a fun character. And who knows, maybe we see the rest of the Winnie the Pooh gang. Number 11 is going to be Wreck-It Ralph. And y'all, I think it's inevitable that we see Wreck-It Ralph in this game. We need 
a new tank that's not just a damage absorber or a bullet sponge kind of like Mordu has the option to do stun or big damage it would be nice to see ralph do great damage but also be able to tank a lot of the hits overall i think ralph would be an awesome addition and i hope that we see him soon now 10 is a fan favorite and i think she could be a key to bring all of the princesses together and that is going to be Rapunzel. Y'all, Rapunzel is just begging to be in this game. She can attack with her hair. She's gonna be able to call her different friends to assist. And I think it'd be a great thing if they gave her princess synergy to bring in the Mulan synergy we already have. And overall, I think they should move to having a princess synergy in this game. It'd be a nice addition in a new team that we could play with, starting with Rapunzel. Another villain on this list is going to be number nine, and that is Ursula. Now, Ursula would be a great addition to Disney Sorcerer's Arena, and of course, I'm sure we are going to see her. We've talked about having her as a boss that you fight in raids, and then you can get her shards maybe through that. I see her being a big AoE debuff punishing character on your team and she should be a lot of fun and hopefully she kind of resembles what she does in the movies maybe having her eels attack for her or doing blind or different things to incorporate and call back to the movies ursula would be a great villain and a great addition this list wouldn't be complete unless number eight was in this list and that is tarzan now the king of the wilds himself that we've got if we have a wild faction we've got to have tarzan be the leader of the wild faction whether it's swinging from vines or maybe having a great wild leadership i think it'd be a good thing to have tarzan in this game all right so listen here number seven is my favorite character on this list as you know if you watch the stream if you're in the discord community you know i love myself some baymax now baymax would be an awesome tank to have in this game or healer or a tank healer but maybe please but can we please have his healing be substantial and advantageous for your team not just another person who heals you know somewhat not as good as the damage coming out baymax has to come to this game we already have some big hero six tease characters and baymax would be an amazing addition i know for one that i'm going to be the chubbiest dolphin and what i mean by that is pretty much a whale when baymax comes out would love to see it rounding out to number six is snow white and y'all i think snow white could be one of the most fun characters we have in dsa now i don't think they're gonna add all the seven dwarves in this game but i think it would be a very cool and neat idea if they went ahead and added abilities representing all of their respective dwarves so maybe if they had grumpy do some massive damage or sleepy do a sleep spell you know whatever it might be they have a lot they could work with or they're gonna release snow white and maybe have them come via spells i don't know but there's a lot to work with here and i know that snow white is a fan favorite be a nice addition and i am looking forward to seeing her again this is in no specific order but let's move to number five and this is probably up there if there was an order he'd be up there and that is beast and we might as well throw bell in there too guys beast will be an amazing character whether it's if you have beast and bell in the same battle and if they attack bell then beast auto taunts and maybe gets enraged or something along the lines of that beast can be one of the fastest tanks in the game he could have an edge against all the other characters it's a no-brainer to have beast in here and hopefully we see beast soon i know gaston's gonna need a little touch up at some point there's a lot of gaston a lot of of Gaston Love in the Dizzy Sorcerer Arena community. So maybe he'll get buffed up as well. He was good in the beta, but maybe Gaston finally gets the love he deserves as well. So again, Beast would be a great addition. Number four, Mike Wazowski. Now, come on. How do we not want Mike Wazowski in this game? We know we're going to get a Monsters, Inc. type of event at some point. We already got Soli. We have Randall. Now, let's get some Mike. I think Mike would be a great addition. Maybe being a leader of a fear team. He's not really a fearful guy himself, as we know from Monsters University. But it would be a nice touch to see Mike Wazowski maybe help buff Soli, Randall. And of course, it's going to help Lotso and friends and get more fear out there or it just makes fear do something different entirely. Mike has a lot of potential to do some great things for the fear mechanic and especially Lotso and friends. All right, so this next one is going to be one that is a no brainer. We've got to see it and they've got to be good. And that is going to be the original Donald, Goofy and Mickey. Now I know we have Mickey in this game, but it's okay if we have multiple versions of the same character. A lot of these games do that and it's nothing new. 
having the original Mickey that isn't Sorcerer Mickey, and then yet alone, Donald and Goofy, guys. I know, I know, this is more than 15 characters, but I gotta put these three together. Having Donald and Goofy be legit usable characters in this game would be such a satisfying thing to see, and hopefully they got some great synergy in between them. I know they're coming, it's just a matter of when, not if, but they'd be a great trio to have in DSA. All right, rounding off with the last two characters, guys. These are ones you know are coming and they're big time, big time fan favorites. That's going to be Peter Pan. Now we have Peter Pan spell in the game, Tinkerbell's in the game, Captain Hook's in the game, but no Peter Pan. They're gonna have to release him in a very unique and fun way, but Peter Pan can do some redemption to the Oceanic realm. They need a lot of help right now. Oceanic is begging for attention. I know Stitch and Maui are teased in the game right now, but Peter Pan could be a magical, if you will, addition to the Oceanic squads. I think he would be very nice to fit in there and hopefully we get some synergy with some other Oceanic characters. All right, the last character that I know everyone wants to see is Hercules. Goodness, we are all just waiting and waiting for Hercules to come out in this game. They know exactly what they have in this franchise and everybody loves it. If we could have Hercules come, Meg, and then Zeus, we already know is teased. Hercules has got to be a rare character because he has to be one of the best characters in the game. I know myself, I cannot wait to see this god come into the game. We have already talked about we're going to have a good time on this stream and on this channel when Hercules comes. And guys, that's it. These are the 15 characters that I want to see come to Disney Sorcerer's Arena. Let me know if you agreed with a lot of this list and if you want to see these major characters come. Yes, we have people from Cars and Cinderella and some other really iconic characters that I didn't put on the list, but I felt like this did justice to a lot of characters I would like to see in DSA. Put in the comments below on characters you would like to see. I would love to see the different ones that you guys come up with or ones that you're just begging for them to release into DSA, guys. Thank you so much for coming to the Cozy Club. Again, we're going to have some great strategy and in-depth guide videos coming right at you. And then whatever characters come out next, we're assuming it might be Oceanic, it might be Stitch, it might be Maui. Whatever it is, we're going to get them and we're going to cover them both on my Twitch channel and in the Discord. We will discuss them, guys. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. And as always, until then, y'all, stay cozy.